on, come on, come on. Hey guys. That's awesome that you're getting so excited for the tiny house. I get to start building the walls next. There's always like a comment that we get every once in a while and people are like, when we first started building the tiny house, people are like, oh, now I get the name of your channel. We're not going to Ellie Ventures. We were going to do, we were gonna go there. Mr. and Mrs. Vegan wanted us to have like an Instant Pot demo stand. So we'd show people like how to do the Instant Pot, but I booked my New York trip like not in good timing with LA Veg Fest. I wish we could have gone. The Negev t-shirt is from ethicsandantics.com. Um, Diane, I ride six miles each way, so it's about 10 kilometers um, each way, so it's 12 miles round trip or 20 kilometers round trip. It is a 24 foot long trailer, rated up to 14,000 pounds. Camera's on like such a weird angle. It is kind of on a weird angle. Like, you have to see our entire body and fucking. So hopefully, I can't grab my crush or anything like that. Like 24. 24 and a half. I'm 21. <laughs> 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 you believed us? Yeah, I don't look 29, and neither does Hannah. We're gonna be 30 in a couple months. Yeah, 30 years old. 30. <laughs> Dogs you. cannot really give you really good hugs, because they... Look at this arms, hug! Their arms don't... They can't really wrap their arms around you. This is like one hell of a hug right here. <laughs> Guess. We're into Safeway. <laughs> I'm gonna go in the pool. I'm gonna go in the ah. pool. Probably walk the dogs. Thank you. Hannah's making a little cooking show here. Man, oh man. How much nicer is it gonna be when we actually have a proper kitchen? You don't like green pepper, right? No. I'll put the green pepper in the flesh. Okay. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna have Hannah's tiny kitchen. Segment. The lighting's gonna be fabulous. Do you want red pepper? We don't have to sit on the ground in front of this wall using stand <laughs> and stand up. Do you want spinach? <laughs> um, a little bit of spinach, sure. Do you want red pepper? Yes. Red onion? Yes. Broccoli? Yes. Somebody asked us like a week ago on this vlog channel like how often we do laundry. And it's usually like twice a week I would say. Would you say that is correct? Uh, right now with all the construction going on, I wash my clothes every other day, typically. Um, or else it'll just get so smelly and stinky and yeah. Hannah's not going to be happy with that. Do you have anything else? You don't have any of those banana peppers. Oh man. People love you, Dewey. So this is Hannah's <laughs> camera setup. So this is a camera that she normally uses to take photos, but it does take really good video as well. Um, it just doesn't have the same autofocus features as well, this camera. The dead on this yeah, 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 and that was no good. And that's the same lens that we use as well. So that's uh, how much? What is that? Tw a 20 millimeter wide angle lens. And then you can see she's got it hooked up to her laptop here, so she can see here what she's actually filming. Because as this camera doesn't have a flip screen on the back like where this one does, so I can actually... See this camera here, it's got like a flip screen, so you can like see what you're recording when when you're like this. Someone's definitely gonna be like, oh my god, your mirror is so dirty. Like whatever, it's just a mirror. Hannah's little cooking show here. Do we approved? Whoa, snap diggity. I feel like this is gonna be a really popular one. I got dough everywhere. Like flour everywhere. <laughs> oh, that's alright. This is our life. It is. Hannah makes amazing food. We take photos and video of it. And then eat it. And then eat it on camera with all these lights and the dogs whining in the other room. Such is life for us. ASMR with Dewey. Bubba, it's all gone, buddy. This is like one of the best food for dogs. About the magic? I feel like that lens is like so dirty. Yeah, we should really clean that lens. 
<sighs> okay, dinner was amazing. Hannah, Hannah's like a sh magician. I just used a packaged gluten-free pizza crust. It was still magical though. <laughs> Act like I like milled the flour and yeah, <laughs> grew grew everything yourself and no, it was uh, that was really good. Think about how hard that would be. Like if you literally had to like grow wheat, mill it, turn it into flour, separate it. Man oh man. Grow the yeast, <laughs> do all that stuff. Like grow every ingredient. Like just be grateful uh. that we have freaking. Everything. Trader Joe's and Thrive Market. Everything at our fingertips. Going along that line, something that we try to practice and I'm working on being better at is feeling grateful um, for all that we have. And that's such an important topic. Um, one, one book by Rhonda Byrne, so we always promote the power. And then she also has another book called The Magic. And The Secret. And The Secret as that's well. That's the first one. And so the magic is like, it just all, the whole thing talks about gratitude. And I believe there's like a 30 day kind of like gratitude kind of schedule or plan, challenge. I think challenge would be better. Um, so you can like follow along and get these habits of gratitude into your life because really like you can be anywhere in your life. Have anything. And well, I think like the most important thing is like you can be content and grateful for where you're at in your life no matter what circumstances you have. Like there's always something that you can find gratitude for. Anything. Like yeah. just the, the ears to listen to this or the eyes to see this video. The or computer or the laptop or the, the phone that you have that you're actually viewing this on. Or like the water that you get to drink every day that you don't have to walk 10 miles carrying five gallons twice a day. Mm -hmm. Like that you can literally turn on a faucet and have like room or hot water to take a shower. Like two billion people don't have that. Like think if you yeah. didn't have that. Yeah. I think we just take it for granted because like even the air conditioning and stuff in our apartment, we're like, oh, they turn the AC off. It's so hot in here. It's like so many people don't have air conditioning and mm -hmm. don't even have, you know, four walls over there and a roof over their head. We're like, they turn that's it off. Sealed, that's sealed from the elements. Yeah. Like I remember like seeing so many people in Southeast Asia, like they lived in like a shack and like it wasn't, it wasn't like a structure that anybody, like that most people wouldn't be living in, in yeah. North America, right? It, it was very primitive and water was primitive and electricity was very primitive. And so we have like so much and yeah. it's very easy to become like very pessimistic about the world because there's so much shit that happens, but really there's also a lot of amazingness as well. Yeah, like if you're watching this, you are incredibly lucky. You yeah. live in a house, you have food, you have internet, a phone, like mm -hmm. so many people don't have that. So many people don't even have food every day or yeah. medicine to help their dying like children. Like yeah. there's so much to be grateful for. So maybe we'll keep talking about it more because we're gonna go through the book, The Magic. Maybe I'll leave a link to it down below so you guys can check it out. It's only like $8 on Amazon for a paperback version right now. We should go through it together. We'll go through it together. Like as a couple thing. Like as a couple thing. We're gonna be grateful for each other. Well, there's more to be grateful for. <laughs> you know. But that's a big important thing right there. Yeah. Cool. All right, we will catch you guys on tomorrow's vlog. I'm gonna get back to working on the tiny house, so I'll start framing the walls tomorrow. And we will talk to you soon. Peace. <laughs>